good evening. Welcome in. Welcome to another uh, a gamer's journey update. How are you doing? You know, how was your day today? Did you do any hard labor? You know, I went out and gardened today. It's one of the things that I love doing. And I had carrots and onions and, and green beans and all these things. And it's just something that brought me a lot of joy. Um, today's update, I want to kind of talk about something that I've been thinking about as a foundation for this channel, which is the three pillars of gaming. Three things that set gaming apart from everything else in the world that I can consider and that I can think about. Gaming is such a unique, is truly a unique medium to our, our generation because especially 20 years later, it's almost unrecognizable from the 2D platformers that we played when we were kids. I mean, you are so, so fully immersed. So I thought to myself, why do people continue to play games? Why are they intrigued by games and I really came up with three core reasons and I would love to know at the end of the video if you think I missed something or I haven't thought of something so the first one I could think of is obviously store uh, playing a game for a specific narrative or story now story driven games or narrative games are actually to me unique because you have to prove that you understand the mechanics to unlock the next part of the story. And the story is often fed to you as a reward via cutscenes after you conquer a certain level. There's really no other form of storytelling that allows for, um, that allows for that sort of, um, how do you say it? Interaction between user and story interaction of, of proving that you understand the material. The second pillar I thought of was obviously competition. Um, anyone who says that esports are not real sports has never watched a StarCraft II match. Um, their minds are going a thousand miles a minute. And the final one was social interaction. People play it for social interaction. Gaming is, especially single player games, is a uniquely paradoxical, paradoxical experience because I think that um, on one hand, we want to play these games in isolation, but on the other hand, we're searching for some sort of human connection as a, uh, as is hardwired in our brain. Um, so those are the three pillars and that's the foundation of, of why I continue to play games. Um, now, obviously I do it for storytelling and I do it for human connection via this channel and competition when I play Starcraft. So I'm interested to know what you think at the core of gaming. Um, I hope that you're doing well. I hope to update you every day. I think, I don't want to spoil anything, but I believe that the channel is going to be expanding um, here soon. And this is going to be a fun adventure. And it's going to be an, an honest and real adventure. So keep gaming, doing your thing. I'll talk to you soon.